Hi friends, it's Rainy, and look, I put on a real shirt today. I did my makeup. It's like I'm at work. <laughs> Actually, today I decided that I was going to treat this like a booktube work day. <laughs> and I was going to try to just film and prepare things for um, at least the next week. Today, because it is the 31st of March when I'm filming this, I'm going to give you my April TBR. As many of you probably know, April is the time that the Owl's Magical Readathon goes on for the last three years. And I struggled with whether I was going to participate this year or not. Um, if you've been with me for any length of time, you know that I have been joining all the things. <laughs> I have been doing every readathon, um, every read along, all the things <laughs> this year. And to be honest with you, I kind of am in the mood to just uh, read, not necessarily mood read, because I do still have read alongs to participate in and buddy reads to do. But um, I kind of want to just chill <laughs> for the month of April, especially with the way things are going at this point. So I am not officially going to be doing the Owl's Magical Readathon this year for the first time in three years. <laughs> but um, I did print out the prompts list that she has. And as I read things, I'm just going to try to check to see if it fits any of the prompts in this and at the end of the month I will tally up anything that I got on here and see if I got a career. <laughs> no big deal if I don't get one but um, I will I will mildly participate as time goes on and I will put this prompts list in my journal <laughs> but um, but yeah, I'm not going to stress about it this time around. Also, Katie from Books and Things is doing her own little readathon. And I know I said that I wasn't going to participate in any readathons this month, but she is doing the TBR Clear Out readathon. And it is just a really chill <laughs> readathon where you just read the books that have been on your TBR for a long time. So. I feel like that is perfect for uh, mood reading. For that, just to give me a little bit of something fun to do, I finally made myself a TBR jar. And I might have to put something on that so that you can see the wording <laughs> a little bit better. But my friend Marsha made me this vinyl that says TBR jar. And I found this jar at the dollar store because the dollar store is still open here. <laughs> and uh, I put all the books that I have physically on my shelf um, that I got either from the library book sales last year or um, that were sent to me by um, giveaways or friends or um, that I just bought randomly because I felt like buying a book. <laughs> I have a lot of those that I have not read yet. So I put them all in this jar and whenever I feel like I need a book option for this month, I'm just going to pick one out and read that book or at least start it. Um, some of the books that I bought at the library book sales are ones that I really knew nothing about and I'm not really sure that I would like them or even would want to read them right now. So I'm going to at least try a chapter with this and um, I'm not going to pressure myself to read a book just because I picked it out of here. If I decide it's not something that I want at this point, I'll pick another one. And now I'm going to open my book journal to my April TBR page to tell you about what I plan to read for all the buddy reads and read-alongs that I have going on this month. The first book that I have slated on my my real TBR um, for this month is Where the Crawdads Sing by Delia Owens. I will be buddy reading this with Amanda over at the Curly Reader and I will be listening to it on audiobook. 
I have found that my brain doesn't really want to focus on um, words on a page right now. So audiobooks have been where it's at for me the last few weeks. <laughs> This was on my list of 20 books to read in 2020 that I did back at the beginning of the year when we all were real excited for 2020 and thought this was going to be our year. <laughs> so um, surprisingly, I was updating my little book journal, my little book journal, last, uh, or just yesterday, and I actually have read about five of the books on my 2020 list already and wasn't really even paying attention to that. So I'm happy to get another one off of that list and hopefully we will both be in the mood for it. Hopefully we will both be able to focus on it. We'll see. The next book that I'm going to start at the beginning of April is The Two Towers by J.R.R. Tolkien. And I will also be buddy reading this with Amanda from her Pacific Northwest Washington Life, the channel that I can never say her name. <laughs> but uh, so two Amandas that I am buddy reading with at the beginning of the month. Hopefully I don't get my Voxer messages mi mixed up. <laughs> yeah, so this is for the uh, Lord of the Rings readathon that we have been doing this year with Krista from Books and Jams and Sarah from Sarah's Nightstand. And they have been taking two months to read uh, each book. Amanda and I have pretty much decided since this is rereads for us, we're just gonna plow through it and probably like get it done within a week. This is my physical copy <laughs> so far. And uh, I've, I've thought about getting different copies because of course you know these are the movie covers and it's a mass market paperback but then every time I look at this one and I see Legolas on the cover I think maybe I just want to keep this. <laughs> the next book on my list is Anne of Windy Poplars by Ella Montgomery. This is for the Analog 2020 hosted by Amanda at the Curly Reader and Tia at Tia and All the Books. And this is just the next installment. I don't believe that I have ever read this one before. I don't really know what this one is about, but um, judging from the last one, I think that uh, some things are gonna heat up a little bit <laughs> in this one. And I, I haven't been able to find the audiobook version of this yet, unfortunately. But this cover that I'm putting up here has been really catching my eye lately. And I have tr been trying to decide what books, what like editions I would like on my shelves. And I now think that the Virago Modern Classics are gonna be it because it's a full set, whereas the other ones that I was looking at are not full sets. And, uh, these ones are just gorgeous and I love this tree cover. <laughs> so I might have to order this. Um, so once I know if I'm going to be getting paid for the rest of the month, <laughs> I might be ordering this. Next we have A Rose in Bloom from Louisa May Elcott and this is for the Louisa May 2020 read-along that Kate Howell and Megan Hannett are doing. Uh, so far, my favorite of Louisa May's books has been Little Women. <laughs> um, the other ones were fine, but I haven't been blown away by any of them. I'm hoping that this one will be a little bit more up my street. I've heard good things about it, so I'm, I'm, I'm cautiously optimistic. Next, I'm going to be reading Deerbrook, and I can't remember who it's by, so you'll see it up here. <laughs> um, and this is for Kate Howe's Read Along Most Victorian that she has been doing this year. Uh, so far, I have not participated in any of them. I was all set to do Hester last month, but then Kate did after that one, <laughs> and then life went to poop so I just thought you know what we'll just save it I have it on ebook I can read it another time Deerbrook I have heard good things about 
Kate has actually read it before, so she likes it. <laughs> so I am I am very optimistic about this one. Yeah, yeah. Finally, one that has been on my TBR for a while that I just kind of threw into the mix whenever I watched uh, Victoria's April TBR. And she decided she was going to read Mistborn the Final Empire. And I was like, hey, I want to read that too. And my coworker, who I talk about semi-frequently on this channel, has been saying to me, when are you going to read this? <laughs> and so now is the time. So we decided that we, Victoria and I decided, not my coworker and I, Victoria and I decided we are going to buddy read this and we're going to try to just take the whole month to read it. So, and just kind of go at our own slow pace because, you know, that's pretty much how all of April is seeming like it's going to be. All right, friends, that is my April TBR. I hope that you are all staying safe and sane during this weird, weird time. I hope that you are able to find your reading mojo in the month of April and that you just find some kind of joy in the midst of this chaos. This too shall pass. <laughs> so yeah, I will see you in my next video. Bye friends.